Patreon. It's great to be here in Manchester, the iconic yellow trams. Believe it or not, this river is actually the River Mersey. It flows through South Manchester. I did not know that before I first moved here. I'm guessing a lot of people who don't live in Manchester won't know that. I love rivers. I'm a bit weird like that. Trains and transport and infrastructure and all that stuff. But yeah, River Mersey. There's some kind of like pub slash boathouse thing with a kids play area and this is like 10 minutes from where we live there's loads of fashionable dogs live around here don't they pip so this guy should fit right in thanks for being here feeling so at home here already even though everything's shut down you know there's still families walking around there's people cycling uh, the nature reserve the parks there's dogs coming up to pip trying to make friends but he keeps barking at them. Bless him. I think Silas is going to love it here. There's loads of nature. There's loads of play areas. This nature reserve's right on the doorstep. I can't believe it. But then it's only a 20 minute tram ride to get right into the city centre. So if anybody ever wants to visit me, get off at Piccadilly Station, jump on the tram to East Didsbury, get off at Cholton. You'll be there in 20 minutes. Got a little doggy in the river there, Patreon. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, there's one here. One here. We've got him, don't worry. I, can, I just have to like hoist him up in the air with one arm. So I'm waiting at the edge of the nature reserve now to meet one of my oldest friends. Um, someone I've known since university. I shared a room with him in first year. And there's a dog coming, so I'm going to head this way a little bit as I'm talking. Um, his name's Mike Buckley, he's a drummer and piano player. Um, he now um, works as a high school music teacher and he lives locally in the Charlton area. I've hardly seen him since we graduated, like maybe three, four times. I uh, hadn't seen him for years and then he came to my final performance for the master's degree with the flamenco dancers and um, yeah, it meant a lot to me for him to turn up because I hadn't seen him for years and he surprised me. And it was a school day, I don't know how he did it, maybe it was half term or something. Well, it's half term now, actually. That's the only reason he's coming to meet me on a Monday morning. And he's just about to get married as well, so... Um, yeah, I can't wait to... I'd, I'd love to give him a big hug, but I can't. I'll have to give him a fist bump. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd better go, because I think I've just got a message, so that might be him. Can't wait to see him. Patreon, this is my friend Michael. Hi, guys. So great to be here. I, I feel like I'm not here, I'm dreaming. This is a place called Beach Road that Mike's introducing me to. I've wanted to film a little bit here because I feel like I'm abroad or something. It's great. There's a little tapas bar here that I'll be definitely checking out as soon as the uh, COVID situation is over. This place kind of reminds me a little bit of like Lark Lane in Liverpool. It's my first impression. But it's also like very artisan as well. So, yeah, wonderful. Five minutes from my house. Give it back. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Can you boing? Can you bounce? Give it a bounce. Boingy boing. Boing, boing, boing. Hello, Patreon. So, this is our rehearsal room. Finally, got the piano and the Hammond organ in. So, our musical feature this week features an old friend of mine from university called John Haycock. He plays the Cora, and we're going to do a little jam for you, Cora and Flamenco Guitar. Um, nothing prepared, nothing too technical, no weird scales yet, that's all to come. 
Uh, I'm just following John, two chords, simple jam. It was a first take kind of thing. We're both under a lot of pressure at the moment with the house move and the music industry shut down. So thank you so much for being here. Hope you like the little jam. And yes, I'm gonna play some piano for you actually for a second. 